Hi everyone, in this video we will be updating the firmware on a Force 1.0 unit on a Mac machine. Now the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the browser Safari does not automatically unzip zip files that we attempt to download. So to do this you open up Safari, you want to go into the Safari option on top, settings, select general, and you want to make sure that open save files after downloading does not have a check mark next to it as shown. Okay, once we do that, we can go right to the AI Light Show website, AILightShow.com. You want to go to Downloads, and you want to find the latest firmware update section right here. Now, please note the version number. This is version 1.0, and if your unit does not show firmware version 1.0 in the top right of the main menu screen, or you have an earlier version, then you will want to update your firmware. Okay, so to do this, we just simply hit the download button and we'll download that firmware package and then we can get out of here. All right, we no longer need Safari, so we can exit out of that. And now what we wanna do is open up our Force 1.0 application. Okay, once this is up, you will notice that it says not connected. So to rectify that, we simply need to make sure that the USB cable connected to the Force 1.0 is also connected to our Mac. And what you want to make sure here is that the USB-C side of the cable, the cable we provided, is connected to the Force 1.0 with the USB-A side, whether you need an adapter or not, is the side that connects to your computer. So once we make that connection, after a few seconds, it should say connected right here. Okay, now what we need to do is go into Tools. We want to go into Load Force 1 with new version of form firmware. And now this will tell us what file we need to look for on our computer. This is the one we just downloaded. So you want to select OK. And now we need to navigate to our Downloads folder because we did not move that file from that location. And here it is. So you want to select this hit open, and a pop-up box will come up indicating that this will take approximately five minutes. Now all we have to do is just reset power on the Force 1.0 before clicking OK. So if you have power on, you wanna turn it off, then turn it back on. If the power is already off on the unit, just turn it on and click OK. And this will indicate that the firmware update process is currently running. Once the firmware upgrade has finished, you'll get a pop-up box indicating that the process was successful. Now, if for whatever reason you have an issue and something goes wrong, a pop-up box will indicate that there was an error. In such case, you can just try the process again and it should complete successfully. Okay, at this point, you can just select OK. Now, if you look on your unit itself, on the top right portion of the main menu screen, will indicate the firmware version that is currently running on the unit itself. This should match the firmware download file that we grabbed from the website here. Okay, so now you are off and running. You can use the Force 1.0 with its latest and greatest capabilities.